You know, you go to the Abilene site, it is a massive development. It's going to be nearly a gigawatt of, of uh, capability, computing capability, uh, and it's going to be eight buildings with four data halls in each one. So to, like, to visualize this, just the land space is like the size of Central Park. The power that's available to it is enough power to power all the single-family homes in Chicago. <laughs> so that's that's the kind of scale it takes to power this AI revolution. We're looking at some pictures here, you were talking to me about sort of the pace of construction is also next gen in a sense. Yes, absolutely. So you know, compliments of Crusoe's tremendous foresight on this power topic, which Mr. Musk was obviously just talking about, um, but also with with kind of next generation development, almost in the same AI speed vein. So typically, it's taken. A couple of years to build a data center. Uh, we will build the next six buildings on this campus in just over 200 days. That's amazing. Um, are you in line with Musk's view that we are going to start to feel it in terms of the power gen supply constraints, as, as he put it, middle of next year, maybe late next year? Does um, that make sense? Well, I, I, I find I often am happy to follow yes. Elon's judgment. So, um, I, but, but yeah, directionally speaking, with greater precision and insight, no doubt he has. But yes, power is a meaningful constraint, which again was one of the motivating forces and pretty unique attributes of this project for Oracle and for OpenAI and for us. And, and yet again, here, our, our partner Crusoe saw this coming a long time ago. And, and so the idea of trying to find a site where in this instance, there's a lot of wind power, for example, in West Texas. So you can access green energy, actually, and convert it into this new AI revolution. So it's sort of green energy into intelligence.